corporate structure uh, is important as it determines the tax treatment of the business and the, uh, the investors, founders, entrepreneurs, uh, considerations whether they're incorporated or not, partnership, sole proprietorship, if incorporate where, Canada, foreign jurisdiction. Those decisions will impact on the, the taxation of the business, uh, what rate it gets taxed at, uh, access to refundable tax credits, uh, implications to the founders and investors and how their uh, uh, remuneration is treated uh, from, from the business. So essential uh, matters that need to be thought out early on. Identifying key incentive programs is very important to entrepreneurs. It's important that they don't spend too much time looking at incentives that aren't meaningful to their business and don't provide a lot of value. So in Canada, particularly in Ontario, you've got SRNED, Ontario Interactive Digital Media Tax Credits, and IRAP. Those would probably be the three biggest incentive programs out there that entrepreneurs should be looking at. The reality of doing business in Canada is there are a number of uh, tax compliance requirements that are imposed on businesses. And those tax uh, compliance requirements uh, can be quite routine. Um, however, when neglected and not maintained, uh, they can create challenges uh, and force entrepreneurs to um, focus their time not on strategic initiatives but on trying to catch up on compliance matters. So the real lesson here is to recognize that you have to deal with these compliance matters and deal with them on a timely basis. The creation of uh, regular financial information is critical for a number of reasons. One is just to manage your business and know where you stand. But that data, that financial information, are, are the key inputs into the tax compliance reporting requirements. So in order to stay compliant, you need the financial information. Uh, and if you haven't got the financial information and you haven't got it accurate, then your compliance requirements with the various reporting jurisdictions, whether it's CRA or the Ontario government, uh, will be inaccurate or not, uh, not on time. So knowing the rules is critical. Once you've identified the incentive programs that you're going after, knowing the rules is important so that you understand what expenditures qualify for what programs, and ultimately your goal is to get as much money back uh, from government sources as you can. Knowing the rules is important so that you understand when you're having a review or an audit, are you well within the rules? Have you claimed expenditures that are allowable or potentially disallowed? Again, all with the perspective of maximizing the government sources of funding and minimizing the amount of work that you have to do. Once you're involved in incentive programs, it's very important that you are creating the necessary evidence, the necessary supporting documentation to support the inevitable reviews and audits that come from the government authorities. Planning ahead for that is very important, so that as you're doing the work, you're creating the necessary documentation, whether it's scientific documentation or financial documentation, rather than trying to look back 12 months, 18 months, and try to remember and create documentation at that point. It's a much more difficult task rather than planning ahead and doing it on a re real-time basis.